Africa has much to be bullish about when it comes to renewable energy. The continent holds plenty of wind and solar potential, not to mention important raw materials for green energy like cobalt and lithium. But so far, progress and investment in those industries has been curiously lacking. I spoke with Alex Irune of Orando Energy to try and find the disconnect. You're in oil and gas, so you know all too well, right, what's at stake. But you are heading up Orando Clean Energy. So is this your effort to diversify away from oil and gas to create a bigger portfolio? How are you guys thinking about the transition? Well, for us, the transition is very, very simple in the sense that we believe the oil and gas companies and the large energy companies will make the first move. Uh, it's a nascent industry, especially when we talk about mitigation uh, technology for, for the transition and renewable energy, and we need the investment to go in. Unfortunately, these investments today don't stack up for the returns that you get with any other conventional energy um, source. So like what, returns, what, what, what returns are we talking here uh, for renewable well, energy and clean energy? For renewable and clean energy, you're looking about 3%, 4% if you're lucky, uh, to, to, to zero or negative returns uh, across, across the spectrum of projects. While it might be useful to have solar panels in a rural area, for example, it's often not the case that there's a, an established mini-grid there, so that has to be created. It's often the case that there isn't, uh, you know, uh, channels into the homes, which have to be created as well. So there are environmental issues and, you know, economic issues that constrain some of those activities. Do you think that it's going to be up to Africa's private sector to change the scenario, that Africa is going to have to look within for funding of these projects? The fundamental fact is this, we have a climate emergency and there are countries today that need adaptation technology and methods to deal with the early stages of that transition. And that's important, especially for Africa. Africa has all it takes to define an yeah. energy future that is sustainable and positive for its people. The question is, how do we then engage the rest of the world in this conversation? It has to be a mutually beneficial energy transition.